So now I think it's uh, dry. What I did beforehand, <laughs> I'm a bit impatient, so I just tried to hurry it up a bit by just um, taking some of the gesso off with uh, paper. So I have some extra splotches there. I'm fine with that. And I'm, it's still a bit moist, but I'm just gonna, I thought it would be easier. I just wanna tear a piece out. And because that's why I don't want, I don't want my stripes going in every direction because I think that would be, just be too, um, too much going on in there, too much movement. So I'm gonna stick this on and I think I'm gonna use a glue stick because I wanna get to the sewing machine and otherwise it's just gonna take too long to dry if I use the matte medium. I always like to put some paper down under there. And this is a real nice and creamy glue stick. I love them. I'm just gonna take it all and I think I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. How cool is this? How cool is this? I'm gonna cut that out. Like I said, I'm not going for perfection. There you go. Oops, something fell down back over there. And that's okay. Yes, 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 yes. I could add a bit more, a tad bit of something in there because, let's see. Yes, 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 yes. This makes me happy. This makes me happy. This makes me happy. And again, glue stick. Glue stick. Let's line it up. And I'll be using this on the other side too. Just so I'm just gonna lap it over. Yes. So I'm just checking in with what I have. And so you can just arrange your leftover pieces. And I'm just wondering what I could do here. I like the look of the cardboard and I don't want to hide too much of it. So I just want to get to my to my postcard. And like I said, I'm just going to rip some of it off and just go with your creative flow and areas that you like. Yes, I like that. I like that. And you can cut them out or you can tear them out, rip them out. Let's see. And I think I'm going to go in the same direction. I like the writing much more than the pink in some areas. Just that hint of written, handwritten areas. Keeping it delicate. Yeah, I'll go for that one too. 
And I also like that torn area. And because I don't have this in there anywhere, I'm not really sure if I want to use it. I have this pink. It's not as bright. It's a, This one was the pastel, I think, right? But I still like that. And of course you can go and use your pastels again, but um, then you'll have to go back over it with matte medium or something to use as a fixative. And I just have a need to do some very subtle mark making. Nothing too elaborate. And I'm not actually sure if I like this, but it's on there, so, okay. I like this one, and I'm just gonna leave that on because I don't know what I'm doing with it yet because I wanna stitch on it, and I'll just be, I'll just be fixing these up too. I'm just trying to sew my postcard and just going straight with a normal stitch at the moment. Just a straight stitch. And now I want to go for some free motion stitching. I want to try it out and I have to lower my feed dogs there and I have a free motion stitching footer you don't actually need it but it makes it a lot easier it makes it a lot easier and I'm just gonna try to move around a bit and I'm gonna go slow on this So that I don't break my needle. So after I added on some paper on back, I just glued it on back there with my matte medium and I turned them over. The camera wasn't working. I guess I didn't turn it on. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you're getting creative, right? <laughs> so I'm just going to do some stitching here just around the edges and you can always add on. If you want, you can add on more strips of paper or writing or mark making, but I'm just gonna leave them. I'm just gonna stitch around the edge and then they're finished. So there you go. I just sewed around them and you can leave the strands of thread like that. I've sent them out in the mail and that's nothing you have to worry about if they're not too long. If they're real long, then I wouldn't, wouldn't go for that. But that's all you need, your paper with your creative mess on it. And you can just play around and you don't have to use cardboard. You can use a um, sturdier kind of paper and you don't have to do the stitching. You can make your marks. But I just wanted to show you one way to use those creative freebies. And I hope you had fun. I hope you had a creative time, 
and I just hope you send out some love with these little beauties. And you can create journals, you can create, oh, you can create a lot actually, I'm going to have to think about that. What can we create with all this stuff? I might even be making a small art journal. Yeah, okay. And I'm all excited. I was so excited that I didn't turn on my camera. Sorry about that. But just a short tutorial on how you can use those creative freebies and use artsy papers. And I love tea bags. As I said before, I don't like to throw things out. And I just like to reuse and recycle. And it's my belief of a conscience planet that we don't always have to buy art supplies and paper and especially the under paper. Um, I'll be going further on different things and I'll be using this someday later also. So thank you for watching and hope you have fun. Bye bye. Now why didn't I think about this before? I just, you know, <laughs> I just thought of it right now. You can also use stamps. There you go. Love. With that in mind, <laughs> thank you once again. I'm just so excited. I'm sorry about all of this. <laughs> A bit of chaos. Creative chaos is the best. Thank you once again. Bye-bye. <laughs>